Back with number 96 back here for another video for y'all today. Today this video has been a couple weeks in the making. Um, I've been debating on making it and then um, I just thought about making it and saying screw it. And by the way, y'all will get a Call of Duty video soon. It's uploading right now. It'll be up in 85 minutes. Because it's 353.7 megabytes. So, yeah. But, before we get into the topic of the video, I want to just point some stuff out real quick. Um, um, I did some stuff Sunday for Hard Knock Kelly. I... Put some gas in his car. Got him with that something from Chill Stop. Why? Well, because I was picking up a can of dip, so I just went ahead and picked it all up in one foul swoop. I did the oil change for him, and for his car, the oil filter was in like the weirdest place in the world. But I mean, I still like his car. Um, but yeah. I did that for him. Um, bought a can of dip yesterday because I ran out of Grizzly. Finally. It's like a couple hours before I bought the new can. Well, no, it was probably an hour before I bought the new can is when I ran out of Grizzly. And y'all all know me now to the point where I did Grizzly at home and Copenhagen at work. But for the past few weeks, I've been dipping Grizzly at work. Depending on who was working. Um. So. Um. 83 minutes left. Anyway. Um. Just. Um. Before. I really don't know how to explain it. And I just took a shower. So I feel pretty decent. I mean, I'm still burning up just due to the fact that it was a hot shower. But if you got your dip, grab your dip. If you got your chew, grab your chew. If you don't dip, thumbs up to you. Thank you for coming back to the channel. I know some of y'all don't dip, and that's all right about me. We're going to dip on some Copenhagen wintergreen, take a break from Grizzly. And another reason why is because I want to eat while these two things are uploading. So, I mean, if the Call of Duty video is not up by the time this is finished uploading, y'all will see that after this is uploaded just for forewarning now but um i want to try to eat something and so if i put grizzly in, i mean copenhagen in i don't have to deal with a headache and to me Gri copenhagen is more easier to take out than copenhagen grizzly is just, to me grizzly is way harder to take out than Copenhagen. But then again, I've been dipping Copenhagen for so long and I dip Grizzly very rarely. So it's kind of, you know, different. But decent sized dip. Dip cheers. Yeah, that, this little thing gonna do it. So, this, this has been like I said, on my mind for a couple weeks. Sorry if the lighting's all messed up. Um. Um. Like I was saying, this video's been in the making for a while. Um. I just haven't got around to it because I wanted to do it in the nicest way as I can. But also, just try to help y'all understand where my head is and everything and when i mean everything i mean from money to cash to this to that just different things that's been going on for the past week or two um so i'm gonna start off from this time last week well not this time last week but uh like monday Everything was fine. Had a good day. Tuesday rolled around. 
had an okay day. Well, somebody needed some help, so I helped them. Typical me, wanting to help everybody. Well, I was kind of blown off with a phone call from that, that person. I was blown off the day after to hang out with them to go somewhere else. And then on top of that, that night, she was hanging with someone I know from school. Anyway, well, Wednesday night is when Cass blocked me completely. And I will get to that part in a minute. All right, take close to the end of the video. But um, the constant people asking for money and the constant, you know, getting mad because I won't help them. I'm going to tell you this now. Go out and get a job. Go out and find a way to make some money. Don't keep asking people for money. Because in the long run, you're going to owe that person money. Now, with that being said, anybody that has borrowed money from me or has asked for money from me since probably October, November, You have 30 days to give me my money or I will be charging interest. I'm not, I'm not playing no more. I have too much to worry about. I have way too much to worry about right now over helping you with money because you, you don't want to go and get a job because you're lazy. I'm going to say it flat out. You're lazy. Um... So, now, on the cast thing, I don't know if I said it before, I'm going to say it now. As she comes running back, like a puppy dog, I'm going to tell her to get lost. Because she said one thing, and then she did the complete opposite. I don't play that game. Um, I don't play that pettiness. You want to be with me, you want to be with me. Show it. Don't just up and leave me because I said, I, I was just telling you what was going on. Um, so, like I said, if you come running back, if you're watching this part, if you come running back, if you just remember this. I'm going to tell you to get lost. Um, another thing. Um, I just... I don't know why, but it's in the back of my mind. But um, I just I want to just get it out of the way. If you constantly message me and I don't reply back to you, I don't want to talk. Plain and simple, I don't want to talk right then and there. If you constantly t text me. And I don't answer. I just, I don't want to talk. I'll talk to you when I feel comfortable and when I'm happy to talk about stuff. Or situations. Or just flat out talk. I'm not putting my personal life out there right now. To any, really anybody actually. Um... I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm tired of the constant asking for money, constantly texting me after I didn't even reply to you in the first place. Um, and there's a reason behind that. I've got too much going on to talk to people right now. Yeah, I'm off, I'm off work for one, two, three, four, the next four days. Technically, I was off the whole week. Well, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I was off for nine days, technically. With Sunday and Monday, last Sunday and Monday, this past weekend, plus Monday, it would be nine days. Uh, I got four days left out of the nine days. 
So I'm going to enjoy them as much as I can. I just, I just want y'all to know and understand that if I don't reply to you, I just, I don't want to talk. Plain and simple, I don't want to talk. Is I've got too much going on and too much on my mind to worry about talking to people. Even about the stuff that's running through my mind. Because guess what? What's running through my mind right now is I know deep down, eventually, deep down, I know eventually some, a few people few people we all have seen and talked about are going to come running back like puppy dogs. And I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to say this. You run back like a puppy dog and you tell me you miss me and all this stuff. Just let it be known now that I will tell you to get lost. I'm at the point in my life now where I'm happy. I've got a job. I, I'm, I'm working on myself slowly. And I'm happy with it, with how I am right now. But in some ways, y'all have got to understand, if I don't reply to you, one of three things are going on. One, I'm thinking. Two, I'm pissed off. Or three, I just want time to myself. I want time alone. And a lot of people don't understand that. And another thing that is going off topic, but staying on topic a little bit, Which I will explain. The constantly not being there for me. Me dropping everything for you when you need somebody. It's got to stop. If you're going to say you're here for me. Then be here for me. Stop. Pay, stop. With the lies. Lie number one is saying you're there for me. Lie number two is you would never leave me. Even, even if it's just a friendship. You would never leave. Guess what? Everybody has left. I'm back to where I was back after my dad died. And that's not a good thing. Um, I'm basically staying to myself, avoiding people. Technically, I'm avoiding phone calls too, unless it's from work or family. And even then, I'm really not answering family phone calls. Unless it's necessary. Um, but just let that be known now that if I don't reply to you, it's nothing against you. It's just, I don't want to talk. I just, I simply, I just, I don't want to talk. It's getting to that point where I want to stay to myself and be, to, I, I just, I want to stay to myself, be happy, and focus on me. So, if you ain't dipping your sugar and keep capping, keep packing, I hope to see you on the dip side. Stay positive, always think positive, and everything negative and everything will come your way. Always think and stay positive, and positive things will come in your heart and in your mind. I hope you have a great day, great night, wherever you're watching this. And if I don't see you, I'll see you on the dip side. America.